Hi chat, it's your boy again. We're doing wheel again. Usually I take 20 million years to do these videos, <laughs> but I really want to spin the wheels some more. It's right there. It's right there. We're at the end of it and I'm scared because there's so many more chaos wheel options. You guys gave me a whole bunch of suggestions and I added a whole bunch of them and the less characters we have, the more likely it is we're gonna land on chaos. So I'm scared, but I'm also excited because it's gonna be it's gonna be anarchy and I look forward to that. So let's do it up. Let me show you the chaos wheel. We have our ever consistent Komida and we have 25 options. So that's a lot of anarchy. This is what we got for our wheel and if you are unfamiliar with this format, the way I do it is my first three spins, whoever I get, I get to choose to put them as the protagonist, the support character, or the antagonist. And as soon as that slot is filled up, then that is what it is. And they're locked in. And we do the same thing with each chapter. So I guess let's just spin to see what one of our first characters is going to be. It looks like Nekumaru or Sayaka. It's really close. Sayaka. Hmm. Miss Ultimate Idol. One thing worth noting is that we have Makoto, Shuichi, and Hajime. So I almost don't I almost don't want to have the protagonist slot left open, because if we just have Makoto as the protagonist again, it's like what are we doing? So I'm thinking Sayaka is our protagonist because, you know, fuck it. Because, <laughs> because fuck it. All right, Sayaka protagonist. I wish that it didn't change all the colors so that the chaos wheel would stay the same color, like the chaos slot. But we have support character and antagonist. Hmm. Kaito? Well, he's already kind of been a support character. So... I almost feel inclined to make him an antagonist, but I don't know. I don't know. Like, when you think about Sayaka and Kaito, do you do you really feel like they have chemistry? I'm not so certain. It's so hard to envision Kaito being an antagonist, you know? Like, I'm just, I don't know if I see it. All right, I've put my foot down Kaito antagonist it's gonna be weird but he can be kind of abrasive you know there's some room for him to be an antagonist okay and now we need to get our support character i don't know who i hope it would be can we get like chiaki yo honestly sonya sonya sayaka is kind of it's kind of gas like they are just serving and slaying. <laughs> I I don't mind this. I don't mind this at all. Are we gonna rewrite Kaito's personality to be a fucking misogynist? Like he just he hates women and that's why he's the antagonist? Like I don't know why he would be hating on Sonya and Sayaka unless he just straight up hated women. But I don't know. This is this is already strange. I'm just envisioning they're in the Danganronpa coal mines and Sonya's like, I'm going to go mine for diamonds. And Kaito's like, no way. It's way too dangerous out there. Leave this to a man's job. This is a man's job to go mine for diamonds. And Sonya's just like, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's so cooked. <laughs> it's so cooked. Whatever. Just roll for chapter one. Whatever, it's it's dumb. Kibo? Huh. Go Gonta. Gonta. In chapter one? You're gonna kill my man Gonta chapter one? That's fucked up. That's fucked up that you would do that. Fight. You know what? I'm making Gonta the victim. Who has the balls to kill Gonta? Chapter one. First of all, why? You're you're a, kind of a scumbag if you killed Gonta. And two, 
How? <laughs> How do you kill this guy? He needed to be shot with 10 Gorgillion bees and then stabbed by a giant alien bee and also set on fire. That's how you have to kill Gonta. Who is capable of doing that other than Monokuma? All right, Gonta victim, this is interesting. All right, who is this killer? If it's Gonta, um, the video ends. If Gonta is his own killer, the video fucking ends. Sonya, why did you do it? Why are you such a hater? What What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Oh, well, I mean, there goes slaying and serving. It's already over. There goes our support character. At least it's not the protagonist. You know, shockingly enough, we haven't had any protagonist swaps yet. I feel like Sonya would be the type of girl to be interested in bugs. Like, she's interested in serial killers, but... Maybe she just does not like bugs at all. And Gonta's just like, look, Sonya, bug. You like bugs, right? And then Sonya's like, ew, I fucking hate bugs. And then Gonta's like, what the fuck did you just say about bugs, bitch? And then Sonya's like, this guy's gonna kill me. I have to kill him. But the thing is, now I'm trying to think of how Sonya would kill Gonta. Oh, you know what would be fucked up? You know what would be really fucked up? is if Sonya made a man-sized glue trap that Gonta could not break out of. I don't know what kind of materials you would need to do that, but she puts a man-sized glue trap in Gonta's room and then he gets stuck in it and he can't get out and he just fucking starves to death. That'd be so fucked up, but it'd be ironic because I'm sure Gonta hates fly traps because they're like, I mean, that's kind of fucked up. And now I'm thinking of the image of Dobby dying in the glue trap. The fan art of Dobby dying in the glue trap. Honestly, I think that's kind of fucked up in a proper Danganronpa fashion. I feel like I like that. I mean, I hate that, but I like that, you know? All right, I'm happy with that. First order of business. Who's our new support character? Chiaki. Oh, Chiaki, the old classic. We're back to serving and slaying, except in a much more low-key fashion. Welcome, welcome to the gang, Chiaki. I hope you live. This is chapter two now, we're rolling for chapter two. My man Rantaro is not making it through the fucking game. He just, he can't ever catch a break. To be fair, he won once, so like, he did catch a break one time. Everyone gets one game, except So, everyone in fact does not get one. And Rantaro, unfortunately... You know what? Who did you kill? Who did you kill, Rantaro? You sick fuck. Who did you kill? Avocado head ass. I don't even know why Rantaro is Avocado Man. I don't know the backstory on that. He killed Kibo? That's robophobic. You're a robophobe. I'm sorry. You're just a robophobe. That's fucked up. You can't do that. You know what would be low-key crazy though? is if Rantaro was smart enough, he was like, bro, Kibo is working for the fucking mastermind of this stuff because Kibo is the eyes of the audience. Maybe, maybe something in his like survivor perk monopad clues him in that Kibo is the eyes of the audience and is, you know, influencing this game of Danganronpa in a way. So Rantaro is like, man, this guy is not on our team, so we gotta fucking get rid of this guy. And then my idea is, so imagine Kibo's asleep or knocked out or something of the sort. He's unconscious for whatever reason, and then Rantaro tries to melt him in the incinerator. Like, all right, this is a low-key tangent, but why was the incinerator in chapter one of Danganronpa 1? It was only used for like one trial. Like you have a way to just, just burn evidence. Like why would you not utilize that? What are you guys, did you all forget? Is everyone only allowed to just use a shtick once? Like you can't reuse the incinerator? Come on. I had an idea one time where if I were to make a, a fan gun, I guess that's right. If I were to make a fan gun, then I would have chapter one I've, I think I've talked about this before, but I'm going to talk about it again. I'm going to, because I'm a fucking yapper. So, chapter one. <laughs> Our protagonist sees 
what will be our antagonist. Kill somebody, and then because you need to have three people witness a dead body, we have two currently, so our antagonist is like, oh well, guess I'll just have to kill someone again later if I'm gonna get out, because you busted me, and then that guy, the antagonist, gets rid of the evidence via like, I don't know, like a garbage chute or an incinerator or something like that, and then the protagonist, he keeps quiet about it because he's like, well, I don't want to disturb the peace, but... I, I don't want to cause a bunch of doubt within the group, but I know that there's a confirmed murderer out here, and I have to pretend that I don't know why this guy is missing. Like, that's how I would start off the prologue if I made a fan game, but I'm kind of lazy. Bro, we are losing people fast. This is chapter three, though. Oh, double kill. Double kill chapter. Cha Chaos? Uh, uh, I'm scared of the Nagito wheel. Oh god. Fuck. Please be something good. No, the later ones are so bad. The later ones are so bad. Give me one second to check what number 23 is. I don't know what you're talking about. The wheel has always looked like this. This has always been the cast for the wheel. This is, this is normal. We still have to roll for everyone in chapter three we've diluted the chaos odds a tiny bit and we have Mew Mew sneaks in if I was Mew I would be pissed I want Mew to be the killer because I want to imagine <laughs> that everyone's like Mew can you make me this tool and Mew's like oh for what reason and they're like not murder and then she's like okay i'll make you this tool and it's like a gun that has a barrel that loops around back towards them and it shoots them so she's just making them a bunch of murder weapons that are sabotaged to fucking destroy their own selves so i want Mew to be the killer for that reason and now we have to come up with relevant doohickeys for the rest of the cast so all right two more victims that we need to find here no. Tugami, you should know better. You should know better. Aren't you like a secret spy guy? Tugami, he climbs up on a roof. He's got Mew's binoculars in hand. He's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna scope this place out. I'm gonna totally murder someone and get out of here. And everyone's gonna not know that I'm the ultimate imposter. And then he puts... <laughs> He puts the binoculars up to his eyes to scout out whatever the hell he's scouting out. And then Mew's fucking state-of-the-art binoculars explode and like blow his fucking it blows up the glass and it gets in his eye and he falls off the roof or something and he fucking he just fucking dies i don't know some some dumb shit like that so, so that's tugami rest in peace you don't deserve you don't deserve such a looney tunes ass fate but this is just the hand that you've been dealt i'm sorry i'm sorry it just has to be like this Okay, now who- oh wait, 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 stop the wheel! Stop the wheel! Stop the wheel! Okay, it's- it's fine. It's- I forgot to remove Tugami. But it's Akane? Akane would fall for the doohickey. Oh god, he, I- this is so dumb. Akane be like, Miu, can you make me a microwave? And then Miu's like, I mean, sure, it should be pretty easy. I'm surprised that we don't actually have a microwave here. And then Akane's like, yes, thank you. And then she takes her microwave to her room. And then she's like, oh man, time to have steak dinner leftovers. It's a good thing that Rantaro died so I can eat his leftovers. <laughs> and she puts the fork and knife into the fucking microwave. And the microwave explodes and starts a like a house fire. And she gets stuck in the house fire. God, that's, that's kind of graphic. I don't, I don't really want to think about that that much. That's kind of fucked up. So that's how Mew managed to kill Akane and Tugami. Akane was a complete accident. Maybe the whole premise of the trial is Mew being like, I didn't kill her, it was a suicide. And then it turns out they like inspect the busted up microwave and they're like, oh yeah, actually there was a timer in it. So when that timer went off, um, 
the microwave would have exploded, but it never got to that point because it got set on fire anyway. So they're like, well, you did actually intend to kill Akane, so you're not complacent. It's not a suicide because you did intend to kill her. Something like that. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's stupid Looney Tunes, stupid ass, fucking goofy ass chapter, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Bros, this wheel is getting small. And also, I'm trying to think of like how Kaito could be antagonizing. Kaito's like, Shuichi, girls aren't gonna like you unless you go to the gym. And then Nekomaru's like, yeah, go to the gym, yeah. I'll teach you how to do it. And then Mondo's just in the gym. Mondo is like earbuds in Chad, like he's just in the gym. He's kind of like associated by proximity, but like he kind of doesn't really give a fuck either way. Yo, honestly, low-key Mondo and Nekomaru would, would hit it off crazy. And we still got Makoto and Sayaka in this game. Oh, and we got Chiaki and Hajime? And we got Yasuhiro and Ball Monokuma? Dude, we got all the OTPs. It's a shame that someone dies here, because this is uh, chapter 4. And someone needs to die. This is Danganronpa. No complaints. You... It had to happen. It had to happen at some point. Alright, we have to write Monokuma into this story. How, how the fuck did Ball Monokuma even get here? Is he the killer? Is he the victim? Like, what? This is so dumb. <laughs> what is going on? I'm gonna be honest, I'd, I'm just gonna roll the next person and make them the killer. So Ball Monokuma is gonna be the victim. And I'm just gonna roll the killer and, and just hope to God that something, like a divine intervention fucking hits me. Like a light bulb, like manifests in real life over my real life head. And then it brings to me the answer of... Who killed Ball of of all Bon of, of Ball Monokuma's entire existence? Okay, this actually makes this easier. Kaito would probably kill Ball Monokuma. All right, so the gym bros, the dude, the dude guys, bro, bro men, bro mean. They're they're doing their midnight rendezvous stuff, and then Ball Monokuma waddles out, and he's like. Hey, wait, you guys can't be out here. This is past curfew. Or whatever. And then Kaito's like, hey, kick rocks. And then he fucking, <laughs> he picks him up with one hand and bowls him down the fucking, the fucking alley. And then Ball Monokuma reaches the end and fucking explodes. He fucking explodes. And then it also reveals a secret room that will later on reveal who the mastermind is. And then this whole case is everybody coming up with their alibis and everyone in the gym club, they're all starting to doubt each other this chapter and it ends up breaking up their bromance. That's what this whole chapter is about. Dude, it's crazy that this this stupid, stupid idiot chapter is going to be so crucial to the overarching plot of this wheel game. Oh god, we have to roll a new antagonist. The scary part of this is that chaos is still here. Chaos is an ever-looming presence. Nakumaru, I would have loved for it to be Mondo. I feel like Mondo could really pull it off. Nakumaru as an antagonist. I don't know. Maybe what it really is, is he's just incredibly mean because he feels like everyone here is very meek and needs to, like, whip themselves into shape. Because, I mean, honestly... Sayaka, not the strongest mentality. Shuichi, not the strongest mentality. Maybe Hajime is like, maybe he finds out that he's part of the reserve course and he has no talent. So maybe Hajime's down in the dumps. Maybe Nekumaru being an antagonist doesn't mean that he dislikes everybody. He's just trying to show tough love. Like he's doing it for the better of everyone else. Like his heart's in the right place, but they don't want to be yelled at by Nekumaru. I don't want to be yelled at by Nekumaru. So maybe that's how he would work as an antagonist. He's not a bad guy. Okay, uh, this this is our final our final chapter, right? Chapter five. Chapter five. Why is Yasuhiro still here? He is still my goat, but why is he still here? Killer or victim? Hajime? Hajime, huh? Well, I can't really envision people killing Hajime if he has no talent. But I don't know. Maybe Hajime kills somebody. Maybe Hajime believes that if he kills somebody successfully, then like he can take their talent or something like that. I don't know. Will 
make Hajime the killer and see if we can work the rest out later. And also for the fuck of it, we're making Chaos Wheel <laughs> like a 50%. <laughs> Chaos Wheel, baby. All right, who, who did it? Okay, we get another Chaos Spin. I mean, I cheated, but it just feels like we have to. It feels like it has to be done. I hope it's not 23 again and we don't have to re-add Ball Monokuma. That would be so dumb, but it's possible. Oh wait, we can remove it. There it is. Ooh. Number two. What is number two? I, I mixed them up. It was one of the first ideas I had, but then I shuffled them around. Talent swap. Okay, well now... Who we who we gonna who we gonna swap talents with? Oh, dude! Cut. No, 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 no! We have we have to make the executive decision to. We just talked. We literally we literally just talked about how Hajime believed if he killed somebody that he would gain their talent. Oh shit! All right, whatever. If it's chaos again, then fuck me. Whatever. Fuck it. Spin the chaos wheel, and then we're setting it back to normal. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> what are the odds? It keeps landing in like the same spot. What is number three? No! No, 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 no. I put this in the wheel. What is wrong with me? How can I be mad about it? I put this in the wheel. I'm, I... It's, I have to cosplay the next character rolled. No, <laughs> no, I can't pull these guys off. I can't do Yasuhiro or like Nekomaru or like Mondo. I can't do Bugle Hair. I actually have Makoto's cosplay. If, please, please be Makoto, please, please. Shuichi would be acceptable too. I could do Shuichi. I could probably even do Hajime. I could probably even do Sayaka. I, I just don't make me be a big guy. I'm not a big guy. I'm just a little guy. I'm just a little guy. Okay, we really took a long detour here. Hajime, killer, talent swap. Let's actually entertain it and say that he successfully pulls it off. And try and justify how the fuck that's even possible. I mean, he is Izuru Kamakura. Okay, he kills Shuichi, he's the ultimate detective, and also, I have to cosplay as Shuichi? Luckily, I feel like that's not too bad. I feel like I could maybe do that. I wished so bad it would be Makoto. I have Makoto's cosplay. I actually cosplayed him for a con one time. My scheme, my evil, evil scheme, was I wanted so badly for there to be a Kirigiri, because I'm such a Kirigiri simp. And I could be like, hey, we got we got matching cosplays. Why, why don't we take a picture together? Didn't find a Kirigiri. But there were so many cool Danganronpa cosplayers. There was like an Ibuki, a Chiaki, um, a couple Monokumas. There was like a Kazuichi. I was like, who cosplays Kazuichi? I mean, you're the goat, but like, I never thought I would. I didn't think he was that popular. That was my first ever con. I was Makoto. And I went with a bunch of normal people, like... All my friends were like normal and didn't watch anime and I was like guys they have like the dude from the office is here Come on guys. You like the office So that's how I got them to go and then I was just the turbo weeb that was like, oh my god That's anime <laughs> anime and then they're like yo not pockets. What what is this guy from and I'm like, oh, that's like that's from soul eater But that was a really good experience. I could do Shuichi Wait, 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 chat, okay. Is this stupid or are we cooking? So, obviously, why would you not want to kill the ultimate detective if you're in a murder mystery game? <laughs> so, what if, okay, this is, this is potentially dumb, but hear me out, Hajime kills Shuichi, and because Shuichi's like hiding his face with his hat, what if Hajime just pretends to be Shuichi? He's like, hey guys, I'm the ultimate detective now. <laughs> and then, 
<laughs> everyone's like thinking, oh, we gotta find who killed Hajime. So like, why would they vote for Hajime if Hajime is the victim? I mean, that kind of fulfills the idea of a talent swap. I don't know why Hajime's ass wants to get out so bad. I feel like that's kind of like a banger idea for a chapter five murder. I mean, V3 kind of did it with the whole, is it Kaito? Is it Kokiji? I don't know. This is what I would expect Samugi to do as the ultimate cosplayer. I feel like the only way that this doesn't work is because like, they don't sound the same. But like, look, they got like the same eye color. I mean, to be fair, all the protagonists do. Like they all kind of got like that grayish. Well, actually Hajime's are more brown than, Shuichi's looks more gray and Hajime's look a little more brown. I mean, he's got the hat on. Their hair color is a little different, but maybe they're not paying that much attention. Maybe they don't really know Shuichi like that. Shuichi lost his boy Kaito, so Kaito probably would know Shuichi the best out of everyone here. And then Yasuhiro's dumbass is just like, what if actually Hajime killed himself? And then everyone's like, man, Yasuhiro, shut up. You're an idiot. And then it turns out he's fucking right. Okay, and now we have to roll our mastermind. Oh, do we have to? Oh God, we have to roll survivors because we added fucking Ball Monokuma as a playable character. We had 16. We had 16 going into this wheel and it was perfect and we wouldn't have to roll for any survivors. But now we have to roll. One of these guys is just gonna be fucking <laughs> banished from Dangirapa history because it got replaced by fucking ball monokuma. I mean, I guess we, we if we wanted to we could bend the rules and have it be a 17 player game or it could be 16 and then ball monokuma shows up for whatever reason and he's like the wild card. But low key, it could be funny to imagine that somebody gets fucking banished from from all from from canon completely. But we have to spin our mastermind first. So, that's what we do here. Your ass is- there's no way. How? How are you the mas- what have you done? What have you done this whole time? What is your motive? The only thing that we've explained that you've done this game is that you've gone to the gym. Mondo, is this like some sort of underground fucking illegal sport? I'm low-key biting off of the plot of Your Turn to Die, but maybe it's like an illegal fucking underground entertainment industry. So Mondo rounds up all these kids and then it's being watched by, you know, big wigs in the fucking underground scene like Yakuza bosses, crazy corrupt politicians and shit, people with a hell, hell of money, like on some squid game shit. And maybe Mondo, in order to get some credibility, he's like, look, I'll even go in there and I'm going to win the whole thing just to show you guys that this isn't fucking fake. And we set up the whole thing with Ball Monokuma exploding one of the walls. In chapter four, he blew up one of the walls. So I think honestly, maybe that wasn't relevant to the masterminds reveal, but it unlocked like the Hope's Peak archives. And that is what showed Hajime that he didn't have any talent. And that's what sent him into despair. Maybe he wasn't even supposed to be here. Maybe he just got mixed up with like the wrong crowd or something. Maybe they mistook him for someone else. So why Hajime is in this game is they wanted to originally kidnap Nagito and he was at this fucking restaurant and then he got food poisoning. So he fucking left early to go shit his brains out. And then Hajime sits down at the seat that he was previously sat at. And like Mondo's informants are like, oh yeah, he's at, he's at the table with the red flag, book him. And then they end up booking the wrong dude and they kidnap Hajime instead of Nagito. So Nagito, despite getting food poisoning and shitting his brains out, he ended up managing to evade a worse fate. Honestly, I'm, I can live with this. This is not that bad. The Ball Monokuma chapter might be a flop, okay? That one might've flopped, but I think we did pretty good. Honestly, I'm very content with this. And then for being the mastermind, everybody jumps Mondo and they just beat the shit out of him. <laughs> And now I have to cosplay Shuichi. What a fucked up world. What a fucked up world we live in. It's not going to be that bad. I don't think I'm going to spin for survivors. I think everyone survives and Ball Monokuma just happens to be a cameo character. We got a 17 player cast. But yeah, that's the conclusion of this series. I can't believe I made three videos of this. I can't believe this. But this is Danganronpa rewritten by an idiot who's armed with a wheel and three collective brain cells. And this is what we came up with. Anyways, thank you all for watching and all of your chaos wheel suggestions. I'd like put all of them in there and I'm very pleased with the result. 
I feel like we did okay. Maybe it wasn't peak, but it was okay, and it was fun. I had a lot of fun doing these, so thank you. Maybe next, what we'll do is we'll do um, Danganronpa GeoGuessr, and I'll do a couple episodes of that. I will also probably finish the thing where I go on Pinterest and I make rooms. I find rooms that are based on a combination of characters, like that one Reddit post. I'll probably do that again, but I think our next project will be GeoGuessr, and that'll be for you guys. And then maybe if I do more episodes, I'll have guest features. Pop quiz, where's this? This is this is your test. This is your test. If you pass, I'm making full GeoGuessr. If you pass and you get it right, I'll make a whole GeoGuessr video. Did you get it? It was the casino in Danganronpa V3. It's the outside of the casino. I feel like nobody ever goes there. So if you got it, then you get plus 10 uh, credit score. This is real and true. This is really how credit works. Okay. I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to me yap and uh, Thanks for hanging out and watching my videos. I'll continue making Don Grandpa stuff. So also, oh dude, it's shameless plug. Come on. You have to shameless plug. I stream on Twitch as this little VTuber guy. I also have a main channel. I'm gonna do a corpse party video. That's gonna be my next video. Um, normally they're not bangers like corpse party. <laughs> Usually it's just me goofing around with my friends. And also I play FPS games. Yeah. Um, the cosplay is going to probably be on Twitter. Maybe I'll do a stream. Dude, I should do a stream as, as Shuichi. I don't know. Keep your eyes on my Twitter and uh, Twitch. Feel free to follow my main YouTube channel. But if you only care about Don Garampa, then feel free to just stay here because this channel will be Don Garampa for the foreseeable future. So no worries. Uh, either way. This is my final actual goodbye. <laughs> Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Goodbye.